Scarlet Crusade refers to the fanatical religious sect that encompasses the remaining human survivors in Lordaeron, which arose after the plague of undeath ravaged their lands and destroyed their kingdom. The term Crusade evokes imagery of a virtuous and aggressive campaign sweeping across the ruins of Lordaeron to take back the lands from the Scourge. This is not the case. In truth, the Scarlet Crusade is losing a long, protracted defensive war, as the tides of undead throw themselves against the Crusaders' remaining holdouts, grinding them down through sheer attrition. By the time Naxaramas began to float over the Plaguelands, only four major Crusader settlements were operational, all of which linger on the coastal fringes of the Plaguelands, seemingly accessible to one another via the seas. The first of these holdouts, the Scarlet Monastery, can be found on the northeast coast of Tirasfal Glades. This sprawling fortress cathedral was once a proud bastion of Lord Oron's priesthood, a center for learning and enlightenment. The monastery rose to prominence in the war against the Scourge, as the holy light wielded by its clergy could not only heal the wounds of the living, but could also smite the undead. As the war dragged on, the monastery's residents became intolerant of all non-human races, regardless of alliance or affiliation. They believe that any and all outsiders are potential carriers of the undead plague and must be destroyed, an extremist viewpoint which has been adopted by the entirety of the Scarlet Crusade. Reports indicate that adventurers who enter this complex are forced to contend with Commander Renaud Mograin, the son of Alexandros Mograin, the legendary Ashbringer and greatest hope against the undead Scourge. However, it has been revealed that the monastery's true master is High Inquisitor Whitemane, a fearsome priestess of terrifying powers and a strict dogmatic resolve. Her inquisition is fearsome and brutal, each day narrowing the gap between the atrocities committed by her interrogators and those by the Lich King. North of the cursed city of Anderhal, the quaint town of Hearthglen is held firmly by the Crusade. Ironically, the town was able to fend off the Scourge in the Third War due to the efforts of Prince Arthas Menethil prior to his corruption into a Death Knight, as well as Uther the Lightbringer, the first of the paladins who founded the Knights of the Silver Hand. Another of its founding members, Tyrion Fordring, was the regional governor of Hearthglen prior to the Third War, though by the events of the plague, he had been excommunicated from his position leaving his son, Talon, to hold the title as the town was converted to a crusader castle. Under Talon's command, the town kept its verdant appearance as the rest of Lordaeron became toxic and blighted. The buildings here are well maintained and share similar architecture to those found in any of the more peaceful human cities in the southern kingdoms. Outside the walls of Hearth Glen, the Crusaders run a sizable lumber industry, harvesting the healthy trees for timber and culling the sickly ones to prevent the infection from spreading. The people of Hearth Glen have remained optimistic, and one could even be forgiven to mistake this place for Elwyn Forest on one of its sunnier afternoons, just with different colored banners and heavily armored knights on a constant patrol. The Crusaders' walled city of Tyr's Hand shares a similar aesthetic, with its green grass and clear skies, though sometimes marred by the sight of Naxaramas just off in the distance. Tyr's Hand is one of the oldest and most revered holy sites of the Church of the Light, and was known as a city of churches due to its religious significance. However, Tyr's Hand provides much more than spiritual guidance to the rest of the Crusade. The bulk of the Crusade's food is grown here, providing vital supplies to those Crusaders who are locked in battle across the Plaguelands. 
one of the Scarlet Crusade's founders, the High General Bridget Abendus, can be found in this place. Abendus was present when then-commander Alexandros Mograine revealed his plan to forge the ultimate weapon that would become known as the Ashbringer, and she instilled all her hate and zeal into the crystal found in the blade's hilt. This sword proved to be a complete anathema to the undead, vaporizing dozens of mindless zombies with each righteous swing. The Ashbringer instilled hope in the dwindling number of Lordaeron's survivors, as this period marked the one time any significant progress was made towards halting the Scourge's advance, and ground was actually retaken from their horrid clutches. Alexandros planned on completely destroying the Scourge, leading his men with the Ashbringer as an instrument of their will. But this plan all came crashing down in the final crusade garrison in Stratholme. In the heart of Stratholme City, behind the countless thousands of its undead occupants, lies the Scarlet Bastion under command of Sadan Dathrohan. Another founder of the crusade, Dathrohan was present with Alexandros Magrain when their crusaders attempted the counterattack against the Scourge. During this assault, Dathrahan was separated from his forces and came face to face with the greater demon known as Balnazar, an independent agent in this war, who held no love for the living or the dead. The demon slew Dathrohan and possessed his body before returning to his forces and assuming the commander's position in the campaign. The deceitful Balnazar manipulated Alexandros' son Renault to kill his father in Stratholme, an act of betrayal which corrupted the Holy Ashbringer and ended any hope of assault against the Scourge. Ever since Renault murdered his father, the Crusade has been reduced to a series of feudal strongholds to fall before humanity's final breath, a rattled, unheard whisper. Balnazar still tends to the Scarlet Bastion in the guise of the Grand Crusader, exploiting the Crusade to his own ends until they have no use left for him. The corrupted Ashbringer, meanwhile, has been claimed by Darian Mograin, Alexandros' younger son, who wields it as the Scourge's greatest death knight in their flying citadel of Naxaramas. The Scarlet Crusade wages a holy war for survival, its members pushed to fanatical zealotry in the face of an utter apocalypse. The juxtaposition of their devotion with the horrors which lurk outside their walls underscores the Crusades' sheer desperation. But blessed with divine powers, their gods have forsaken them, and the Crusade no longer wishes to save the decayed corpse of their kingdom cleanse it to ashes and sacred fire. They have become enamored with hate and isolation, to the point of dogmatic extremism. They have exhausted every other resource at their disposal, and are now driven only by the desperate need to stay alive. For every one of their own who falls in battle, their enemy grows in strength. <laughs>